Oh my god. Hi. What's up, YouTube? My name is Jay Towns. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back, homie. And if you're brand new, I hope you stay a while, you know? Kick off your shoes, but keep your socks on just for, um, personal reasons. Anyway, I thought I'd let you guys know what it's like doing Zoom classes out here, so join me for the ride if you're interested. We're gonna be going to my classes, doing all my extracurricular activities, and some other miscellaneous things throughout the day. You're gonna see everything. <laughs> and I mean everything. Sorry, that came off a little bit more ominous than I wanted it to, but I think a good amount of healthy fear is, is, is always helpful. So if you're new uh, or just don't remember or literally don't care, uh, <laughs> I am a junior now at Northwestern University. I'm studying theater, music, technology, and business entrepreneurship. First things first, this is the first, last, and only time that I will be getting up this early to do anything. Um, you're welcome. So to celebrate, I'm gonna go to one of my favorite coffee shops that recently just reopened due to COVID. Um, Wait, that kind of makes it sound like they reopened because of COVID. I mean, they shut down because of COVID and now they're reopening because things are getting kind of better, hopefully. If you're watching in 2021, how is it? Anyway, um, yeah, let's go. I'm living off campus this year, and that's very different from how things were before, especially this year, because last minute Northwestern decided that freshmen and sophomores were actually not going to be living on campus, with a few exceptions. So lots of sophomores uh, decided that they could live off campus, so they did that. I was already planning on living off campus, so nothing really changed for me, but when you're on campus, there are some other rules that you have to abide by that we'll get to, because I'm actually taking a COVID test today. Even though living off campus campus is fun, there are a lot of things that I was not used to, like buying my own groceries, um, paying for Wi-Fi, oh my gosh, like rent, all of these things that I just, I knew existed, but never thought about who would have to do them when my parents weren't doing them for me. So that's been new. Okay, so it's not exactly a coffee shop, uh, but it's Einstein's Bagels and I love them. And they also serve caribou coffee, which is actually my favorite. Thank you. You're welcome, you have a great day. You too. They are so nice. <laughs> I would just go in there for the good vibes to start my day. Oh, and it's so good. I think it's really funny and sad how you can see the time passage through my hair. I don't know if I ever did even a video when I was blonde. I did like a dorm tour when I was blonde, but like now it's mostly gone. Actually, now that I'm talking about my hair, I realize I, I don't have a comb. I've been in Evanston for like a month, so, so I'm gonna get a comb from like Target real quick. It's not gonna be like super cinematic. I just remembered I need one, I'm already out, so. Just secured the goods from Target. It's kind of annoying they uh, sell the pick and the other combs separately, but gotta do what you gotta do. So now my hair is finally going to look the exact same. I can just feel better about me trying to have made it look a little better. But you know, I've been thinking about going for another color again. Like, do I wanna dye it blonde again? Do I wanna go purple like go cats? I don't know. I don't know yet. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Utterly and entirely unrelated to the content of this video, I have something that I feel like I have the moral obligation to share. In Evanston, there are like tons of bees that are like out now, or at least I thought they were bees. And then my friend was like, no, actually they're not bees, they're hornets or they're yellow jackets. And I'm like, I'm done with all this, this cryptic speak about striped bugs. I found a chart that I wanna share with you all that really gives me some insight. So every time I see one of those things flying around me, I whip this out. It's just like everything you need to know about any kind of like thing that might look like a bee around you. I just really wanted to share that with you guys. It's alleviated a lot of my stress. Um, and even if it is like a yellow jacket, like one of those that really just wanna like mess up your life, like at least I know. I think a big thing that's changed my workflow is time management. The times in between classes and in between obligations that you might have, I think 
are the most important times of your day because I feel like a lot of people decide to waste that time. And I think that one benefit of the online class thing is that you can kind of be wherever you wanna be um, and you can get a lot of stuff done in between. When classes used to be in person, I would kind of format my day so that I could leave in the morning and then come back at night, uh, which was usually like 8 a.m. to midnight. But now, you know, I don't have to feel like I need to go from place to place. I can be back and I can work on music in between classes or I can learn lines or fill in the blank. You know, I can do things that I feel are more constructive without having to structure it around where I am. God. So what are we making in here today, Emily? I'm making oatmeal. Hey guys. Emily is so our today, resident chef. Um, we're going to be making some Earl Grayson. Um, oh my god. I love his music. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like, like an indie artist. No, I know. Are you recording now? Yeah, I am. <laughs> These are my roommates. This is Emily. Hi. And this is Emily. I know, we only we only thought about it after we already kind of like made the deal. But it works, right? Like, I mean, watch this. Emily, can you turn on the stove? you. So you can clearly see we have no problems with knowing who's who. We got our uh, dinner table with two chairs, despite the fact that there are three of us. <laughs> we just have to put musical chairs. Yeah, we, we literally we just- want to sit down. Okay, so like an ideal student would do all that useful, you know, productive stuff. However, I spent the last hour um, joking around with my roommates and watching TikTok. So um, it actually is time for my class now. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. Joining class now. <laughs> Hi, Adam. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? So guys, I am in my first class and uh, there is no professor here. If you can see here, we've got students, all of us, we're having a great time. Class started at 1.30 and it is now, uh, as you can see, it's 2.02. So we've literally just been talking for like um, <laughs> 30 minutes. My Sunny. car broke down. Yeah, Ruchir's car broke down, um, really unfortunate. Sungi made, wait, did you like take that picture? Yep, I just took it today. Actually, I took it today, really. To it's, I, I'm finished with the final print. Yeah, so as you can see, all these brilliant minds are being wasted by the fact that our professor didn't show up. But honestly, this is kind of more of an icebreaker than I think I'm gonna get in any other class. So everybody say bye. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, that was a wild class section, um, but I'm really looking forward to that class. Quite possibly, ironically, the best introduction I've had to a class at Northwestern. There are some up there, but that one was awesome, and it was on Zoom. So, impressive. Northwestern Zoom classes, one, J0 for expectations. So the next thing on my agenda actually is my COVID test. That's right, I'm going to get another COVID test. I've taken so many at this point, I don't even know. This is the first one I'll be taking through the school, so I'm gonna head over to that building and take that, and we'll see if they let me film it. I don't know, but I ain't capping though. I'm going to take that test right now. So they're doing testing in the old Kellogg building. I have never been inside here. Also, side note, I hate cicadas, like so much. I think they're normalized in our society and they shouldn't be. I think, I, I just, I hate them so much. Just took the test, never gets old, let me tell ya. The feeling of something just all the way up into your nose, into your brain. They did not let me record inside. They had things posted all over there. It was like, do not film, do not photograph. So I was walking through there with this thing in my hand. I was like, hey, I'm not recording anything, sorry. And the lady was like, uh, who, who like took all my information down. She was like, why do you even have that in the first place? And I was like, I got a vlog. And she was like, what? And I blah, 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 I told her. And she was like, I'll subscribe to your channel. And I was like, thanks so much. So if you're watching this, thank you. I appreciate you and the work that you do for the community. Really appreciate it. But yeah, went well. Hopefully I'm negative. <laughs> I am literally so mad at myself because I just, I spent the last 30 minutes going to Norris to get one of these things where it mounts your phone to the car because I'm like driving so treacherously all the time because I hold my phone and I had some extra time. And I literally, I set it up incorrectly. So it's not sticky anymore because I had to take it off because it wouldn't hold the it wouldn't hold the phone. And I just wasted the money, like it doesn't work and I cannot get it to, so I'm just 
that was a waste of time and money. Um, I'm now going back to my apartment and I'm mad about it. So I've been visited by my least favorite PA kids from last year. Gray and Jackie. Hi. What's up guys? Gray and Jackie, as I recently just stated, were my least favorite students in my PA group. He hated us. Um, he hated they hated were him. literally so annoying, and they still probably are. I haven't seen them in a while, but yeah. one can because assume. I think That's we're why. so annoying. I just gave Jackie and Gray notes that they wrote themselves when they were freshmen in my PA group at the beginning of the year. I'm like genuinely. I'm pretty sure I asked them what their goals were. Oh, oh my it God. starts off bad. I can't. <laughs> There's my ex. Hey, I got into acapella. <laughs> like I hope. One of mine is don't buy more shoes. I really failed. These are new, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, I think I... you keep up with your PA group friends. Oh. Wait, actually, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cute. I said to say friends with you, but you hate me, so it's good. Yeah. That's true. So for those of you who don't know, uh, pictured here, Gray and Jackie actually got me um, a present for like being like an amazing PA, because I was. Yeah. Um, and I haven't read this yet, but I will. Listen, you tell us, is his channel where you want it to be? All right. Yeah, I, think I feel it, like it can always improve. Didn't we get him a hoodie? Yeah. I, I, got, I wore the hoodie. Subscribe. I did wear the hoodie. Yeah. So it says clickbait, actually. Clickbait. So fake <laughs> fans. I wore it to acting class the next day, and <laughs> <laughs> they were like, what are your takeaways from your, um, your notes that you wrote yourself freshman year. There were definitely some cringe things in there that I'm like, ooh, I don't know why I wrote that. I'm much better placed than I was when I read this, than I wrote this apparently. That's yeah. good. I'm feeling great, glad to be back. Um, but there's other things that I wrote on there that like I stuck to. Not being friends with people you don't necessarily want to be friends with. That's mm -hmm. a big one. It's a big one, and yeah. I get it. Good. I'm, still, I'm only friends with people I like. What about you, Jackie? Okay, one of the good ones that I still stand by is run your own life and don't let FOMO run your life. A little cringy. I think I definitely know more about the many, many flaws of Northwestern now. Yeah. I don't know if you can include that in a vlog. Well, they, don't, they don't pay me. <laughs> yeah, okay, the many, many flaws of Northwestern. But I overall think it wasn't horrible to read. Yeah. There are students like Jackie and Gray who were lucky enough to get in their second year to go and live off campus. But there are also some students here who were able to actually secure on campus housing. So basically, um, they've got stricter rules and stuff, but like at the end of the day, they're still here. And that is Natalie here. Say hi, Natalie. Hi. Natalie and I were in a show together last year. Spam a lot. We took amazing pictures such as this one. <laughs> Natalie is wonderful. And how long have you been here? I've been here for like three days. Oh my gosh. So Natalie, what's it been like living on campus so far? Do you like it? Are the vibes good? What's it like? I think the vibes are good. Um, it's, it's, it's very, uh, I mean, isolating. We're in quarantine. One might say, <laughs> but we're all in yeah. a pod. Yeah, so, all three of us are Oh, in and they're also in a pod. I don't know exactly, but I hear it's like really cool. Um, but I think you have to have friends to be in a pod. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, but like in theory, like they're really cool. You should check them out. But yeah, overall, Natalie, you're having a pretty good time. Yes, excited to be here. What, what would you What would you say to anyone who's like not living on campus right now, but is like having, you know, online classes or whatever, like what, what would you say to them if you had anything to say? Come visit me in my not in my door. Oh. I'm not allowed to come in my door. <laughs> but I want to see you. And we will see you eventually. So don't lose hope if you're not on campus. We're honestly not even having that much fun. Like I said, Gray and Jackie are really lame. And like, Natalie's cool, but I don't really get to get that close to her. So it's also like, what's the point? So at the end of the day, you might as well be at home anyway, right? No. So while I'm waiting for this class to start, I'm listening to a playlist of music that was sent to me by the director of a film that I'm going to be scoring the music for. And wouldn't you know, who's on the playlist? 
That's me. I'm on the playlist for the vibes, for the for the film. That's fun. Might be making some more content about that. Don't know exactly how much I can talk about that, but that's super exciting and it's super cool to see my name like on this film vibe playlist with these other artists like Frank Ocean, Kendrick, Mac Miller, like wow. By the way, if you haven't listened to my music, definitely check it out on Spotify or Apple Music or Google Play or Amazon, literally wherever you listen to music, it is there. Uh, and I would really appreciate if you listen to it. I think you'll find something you like. Class is starting in four minutes, so yeah. And just like that, the day is basically over. I'm gonna finish this day with a dinner that my roommate made for us. And I'm like, thank you so much for feeding us because I don't know how to cook. Yo, you got no business making food this fire, bro. It's cause I'm actually Remy from Ratatouille. Oh my God, Remy. Oh boy, can't wait to try this. Um, okay, uh, so Emily said she wanted to Watch me eat it, which is valid, because she didn't make it, but it's just a little, um... She's just a little... She's just, she's just over good? there. I, I, have, I haven't tried it yet, so... Try it. Just with you watching, like right now. Is it good? Do you like it? It's fantastic. <laughs> Ew. There we have it. That's a day in the life of Zoom classes. How'd your classes go? Yeah, I did sun salutations in our living room. So. Yeah, so at the end of the day, like, that's all you really need to know. Um, the acting process, it's just the same. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful Online. process. I, I mean, I have to say, okay. I was pleasantly surprised by my classes. I was still excited for them, thinking about Zoom classes. It's not the same as thinking about the first day of school otherwise. Right. Like, you're no. not gonna bust out with that crazy fit. Like, you're not gonna kiss all your homies yeah. when you see them in class because right. you missed them. Right. Like, but at the end of the day, it, it was still normal and honestly, I'm really looking forward to this quarter. Um, so, do you have anything to leave them with, Emily? I'm just still thinking about how I don't get to kiss my homies anymore. Come here. Come here. Why not? You know, you you can kiss me like any morning, like just. Okay, so I'll just. Yeah, no, that it's. Uh, yeah, so um, I guess I'll see you. <laughs> You're back. Not for long. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>